All right, guys. So today I'm gonna go back to my most popular video, which was how to hook a bowling ball. So obviously we're not just gonna keep pumping out the same ideas. I'm gonna switch this one up a little bit. So I noticed you guys loved the tips on how to hook a bowling ball. So I'm gonna take that a little bit further. So how to hook a bowling ball on a sport condition. So the sport pattern that I put out today is going to be cheetah, or sorry, it's going to be wolf, and it is 33 feet flat, and it's very hard. So, how do you hook a bowling ball on something that's not a house shot, and that, quite frankly, you don't have very much room for margin, and is, you know, the pro level patterns, you know, so, obviously not very many people know how to do this. I do. A lot of professionals do. But I'm sending it to you. So, obviously, something on how to hook the bowling ball. I don't really need to tell you guys what to do with your hand anymore because that's what I said in my last video. But, so when you get on sport patterns, you get on, especially on a shorter oil pattern, 33 is considered to be a short oil pattern. What you want to do is you want to have your ball roll. You, you want to be going end over end ball roll. You want it to be rolling forward off the back of the pattern. So I brought two balls in, and I'm going to show you guys how you're supposed to hook a bowling ball on a short oil pattern. So I'll give you a couple breakdowns on it first. First off, we have a Venom Shock Pearl. We got a, the, the Tank Blitz, and these are two of my favorite balls to throw on shorter patterns. So, But first, I want to show you guys or talk to you about where I'm going to throw them. So on a short oil pattern, a great way to figure out how, where to start would be subtract the number 30 run from the pattern length and that should give you a fairly decent break point to use. So on Wolf that happens to be 33 minus 31 so the two board seems to be a sweet spot. Uh oh! The two board, most of us are afraid of throwing it in a gutter! So that's not good. So I'm gonna come, I'm gonna put my shoes on, I'm gonna show you guys how to strike on this short oil pattern I'm going to show you how to hook the ball. So a couple things you're going to see me doing out there is, yeah, I'm going to be using the gutter as my, about my break point, but I'm going to be throwing it to the gutter with a very open launch angle. Now, why is that important? Because that's going to allow the ball to exit the pattern the correct way. It's going to hook properly. So on your house shots, what's different when you hook the ball there, there's a huge shelf of oil in the middle of the lane. On sports shots, that's no longer there. So it takes a little bit more ability to hook the ball on these sport patterns. All right, going to the lane. short oil pattern so as you can see I was pretty close to the gutter I was a little further away with the with where it left my hand but I was close to the gutter 
on my break point, the ball came flying off the back of the pattern, and you saw it hit the pins really hard. So, hooking your bowling ball in sport oil conditions, you get more strikes, get hit higher margin of error, but you got to do it right. So, remember some of the key things on how to bowl on a short oil pattern. You got to be closer to the gutter. You have to be rowing the ball up the back of it, means that the forward ball spin. And you got to have the right equipment in your hands too. So there's more than just physically spinning a bowling ball. You got to have the right bowling ball. You got to be on the right spot of the lane, and you got to be able to hit your mark consistently. Because these patterns give you very little room for error. So if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see the little dingy bell and you will get notifications whenever I release more videos so you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest mode of balls and ways to get better at the game of bowling. Thanks for watching. Peace out.